Hi and welcome, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman and you are joining today's gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What is Metaphysical all about? Well, the real world that exists out there, the complete and total experience, exists beyond what you can detect, what you can experience, what you can witness with your five senses. So there's more to life than what you can see and hear, smell, touch, feel, and taste. It's a much bigger picture that enriches your world, your life, your experience once you discover how to witness, to be part of the greater reality, the 99% world, as it's often referred to, that exists beyond the 1% that we know with our five senses only. We begin every week with a happy share. Why a happy share? Because today the default way of thinking is, what's wrong? What's missing? What can I do better? Why don't I have everything I want? In other words, people are looking for how to feel miserable. That's what they do automatically. That's their reaction. You don't take time to step back from a situation, an event happens, a circumstance, and they immediately go to, how can I interpret this to make myself feel bad? You can create the habit of interpreting events that leave you feeling good, that leave you feeling happy, that leave you feeling at peace. So a happy share, you know what, go ahead and scroll down below, fill in your happy share and share it with all of us because when you do that, it's even bigger for you. You share it with one person and you're doubling your experience. But when you share it with two, three, four, your experience expands exponentially and your happiness increases. So my happy share for this week is yesterday, uh, one of my friends, who's also a writer, took me and another new friend I made to a big party for a newly published author. And he did a reading. It was a big celebration. There were hundreds of people there. There was a band. And it was really fun. I'd never been to anything like that. In fact, I never even knew that writers give readings at their publication party. So that was really happy for me. And I find out now that it happens real often, readings. So something that I like to get to do, I get to do more of it now. Again, what's your happy share? Let us know. Fill us in. This is a week when I get to be the menstrual minister. So today, i got a question for you. That question is, why? You ever ask yourself that? How old were you when you first asked yourself, why am I here? How many times in all the years since past have you wondered, is my purpose clear? When you recognize we are all one, Everything is energy under the sun, and it's all connected to serve the highest good of all. Does that make the world look a little less screwball? When you do what you came to do, you replace the shortfall of resistance with the windfall of existence. Abundance is your right. Awaken to the rich insight within to begin living life as it's meant to be with love sharing freely. Open up your heart and see. Open up your heart and see. When you see with more than just your eyes and the whole metaphysical world, go into your heart and into your gut where you truly experience things not quite in your knowing, not in your conscious mind, in your subconscious mind. Tune in there and then you will enrich your life. You will get into the programs that are running that are making your world look as it does. You can open up and feel the love that truly exists. And in doing so, you're raising your vibration. And the higher your frequency of vibration, the more wonderful things come to your world because everything that's good 
happens up here at high frequencies, and everything that's cruddy happens down here, low, slow frequencies. So let us know. What would you rather be experiencing, and how are you experiencing? What purpose are you serving by being here? How are you fulfilling that purpose? Why are you here? You want to know what that is to make your life work. And our sanctuary is a tree of life, and on that tree of life are names of people and pets. And every single morning I say a special blessing for each name that's on the tree of life. It's a blessing recognizing that everyone is a divine spirit, whole and perfect in every way. It's also a blessing recognizing that if an awareness came into my world of something that person or animal is going through, it's here because, remember I said we're all connected, I have that awareness because there's some kind of program running in me that by clearing it out of me, I'm having an impact on that situation, on that person, on that animal. Everything we do impacts everybody else and eventually comes back to impact us. So if you have a name of somebody going through something, you'd like it included on the Tree of Life, go ahead, scroll down, leave me that name, you will get an email from me, and we'll make it happen. There are some pretty extraordinary things happening to people whose names are on the tree of life, to animals whose names are on the tree of life. It makes a difference when we live life with awareness. Holding a space for is where we are now. Holding a space for means seeing something that somebody wants to have happened in their life, a vision they have, a desire that they want to manifest to make real in their life. And we all hold the space for seeing them living in that reality. It happens sooner. It happens when it's in their highest and best interest, at the right time, because they are who they are ready to handle the event, and they will become that person faster when we hold a space for them being that person and having that reality become their reality. Now, not only when you scroll down and fill in what you'd ask us to hold the space for for you, not only will it appear below this video, but look up. You see up there, if you're on the Metaphysical Ministry International.com forward slash update site, you will see we have a page for holding a space for. Come by here at least once a week. The more often you do it, the faster things will manifest for people who ask us to hold a space for them accomplishing something. And you don't have to know the person. You just have to see the name and what it is they want. The universe knows who they are. The universe does all of the how. You don't have to know the why. Just hold the space for this name living the reality they listed. This week, go out and look at your world from a point of coming from your heart. Recognize you're here for a purpose. There's some kind of correction you want to fulfill on a soul level. And you are part of the all is one, that everything is energy. You too are energy. And by living in that connection, by knowing, by sharing freely, by knowing life is cooperation rather than competition, you don't just enrich your own life, but that of everyone and everything. So put that into practice. Create a new habit of living in that knowing, of living consciously as part of the all is one, as being here to make a difference for yourself that makes a difference for others, for all, and the planet itself. Blessings.